opportunity to find out what reporters really thought about a defendant. While the jury deliberated, the news people were conducting a lottery on Ted Bundy's guilt or innocence. It's called the cool pool. Last call for the pool, did you say? What a setup. It's over there. The object of the ghoul pool was to guess the verdict and how long it would take the jury to reach the verdict. One dollar per guess, closest answer wins all. What do you want? Uh, length of time and uh, guilty on Who's your news director? Uh, he's not going to get on TV. Is it okay to say on the air? Okay. <laughs> news people were not particularly happy about gambling on camera, but the results were quite interesting. Roughly 8 out of 10 believed Ted Bundy was guilty, and they were willing to bet money on it. He reminded the jury that Neil Neary's identification of Bundy in court. We've got a shot of... But the nature of television trial coverage seems to mitigate against the personal feelings of reporters creeping into news stories. A camera in the courtroom shows the viewer what is really happening. Emotional descriptions, perhaps exaggerated, are not appropriate. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Defendant Ted Bundy was also quick to take advantage of the news coverage he complained about so bitterly. His associates were allowed to view news tapes without subpoenas, searching for pictures of Bundy's teeth, which might lead to his acquittal. In order to uh, take it in to the jury so that they could... And even as the jury deliberated, Bundy maintained contact with the courtroom from the jail across the street. He telephoned friendly reporters who were watching the courtroom on TV. But perhaps the best argument for cameras in the courtroom is looking at how trials are covered without cameras. After the Bundy conviction, the camera is turned off and competitive instincts are turned on. This is known as the electronic gangbang at the courtroom door. In this case, a violation of a court order and just about anyone's standards of good taste. Come on, be calm, you guys. Be calm. Be calm. Within moments of the guilty verdict, the defendant's mother is assaulted by nearly 20 cameras and bright lights, and perhaps a dozen inane questions on her feelings about the verdict. The competition for material creates a situation which is demeaning for all its participants. It is an inefficient method of gathering emotional, incomplete, and often inaccurate information. It is a system where hustle outpoints thoughtful reflection, where cooperation melts into a rivalry between the news media and the courts. What's all these cameras doing on the fourth floor? What's these cameras doing on the fourth floor? Get away from here. You know you're not supposed to be here. Get! I got it, Ralph. Go. Ted Bundy has been sentenced to die in Florida's electric chair. He is appealing that conviction, in part, on grounds that the news media prevented him from getting a fair trial.